Uh, George, yes. thank you so much for your continued stance against imperialism and for world peace. I've been on the left of Thanks. politics, George, for all of my adult life. But uh, like a previous guest of yours, James Melville, I feel that the left have deserted me and that I haven't deserted the left. None more so than uh, during the so-called pandemic and, and lockdown. I understand and applaud those workers who continue to struggle, those workers such as the RMT struggle, the teachers and the doctors at the moment. But I can't help but feel we need to join some dots. If any struggle succeeds in getting workers a decent pay rise and better working conditions, um, and it's a, it's a big but, but how will we f uh, fare under, let's say, the central bank digital currency? And I know that there's been an, a, a couple of callers, and, and you yourself have, have covered this this evening, and I was so pleased that you did. The, it's linked, as far as I'm concerned, George, to something else you've talked about in the past, and that's the agenda of the World Economic Forum. And also now the World Health Organization, with its treaty, which, as I understand, the EU have ratified, along with many other governments, or as Gerald Salently uh, eloquently put it a few minutes ago, um, at, at the criminal clubs. Uh, it's a treaty that hands uh, government control to the World Health Organization. It will make membership of the EU like a tea party, I feel. I also feel, George, that we need a national campaign against the central bank digital currency. Can we imagine what it would be like to be... It, it, I think Farage was a test. If they can do it to him, they will do it to many others. The likes of Mick Lynch, when Mick is speaking against what they're trying to do, and the attacks on the, the people that he represents. I can imagine trade union funds uh, being captured. I can imagine people like Mick Lynch being targeted as an individual and other trade union and trade union leaders along with him. This is how they will get control. I firmly believe, and I'm one of the few people from the left who spoke out against the lies that they told us during the pandemic and how it was used to control people. I believe that was also a test. And I believe it's linked to the World Economic Forum's agenda. And I believe we're going to face many things like it in the future. If we can stop the central bank digital currency, we will stop them in their tracks and it will be a big blow.